Sony. Wasara tunuk wada ki masam ke singa within mapamanai. The controversial New York Times article, How China Got Sri Lanka to Cough Up a Port, cites that former President Mahindra Rajapaksha was given 7.6 million US dollars by China Harbour for the presidential election campaign of 2015. The article called it a deal related to Chinese President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative, through which global investments and lending programs create a debt trap for vulnerable countries around the world. Responding to allegations yesterday, spokesperson for the Minister of Foreign Affairs of China, Liu Kang, emphasized that China-Sri Lanka cooperation on the Hamantota port project is conducive to both Sri Lanka's economic development and regional connectivity. The construction of the Hamantota port is what the successive governments and people of Sri Lanka have desired. The Chinese government has encouraged Chinese companies to cooperate with Sri Lanka on the Hamantota port project in the principle of equality and mutual benefit and following business rules. All this was business cooperation that are beneficial to both sides. Makers of the so-called debt trap lie should at least have a healthy attitude towards the sincere cooperation between other countries if they cannot provide any tangible help to the developing countries. I can tell these people that China and Sri Lanka are committed to further pushing forward the cooperation on the Hamantha Report project to realize the goal of turning Sri Lanka into a logistics center in the Indian Ocean. This will be conducive not only to the economic development of Sri Lanka, but also to regional connectivity and common prosperity of countries in the region.